Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's check what is happening in MMORPG gaming world. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of MMORPG videos in the future. This evening I will start with Throne and Liberty, because finally, on December 7th, this game was released in Korea. Yes, in Korea for now, I'm currently playing this game in Korea, check my live streams on Twitch. Regarding global release of the game, we need to wait for 2024, I will talk about that in a minute. First, let's talk about Korean version of the game. How does it feel? It feels amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, regarding uh, basically for like any other MMORPG release, yes, there are some issues. You can see here on official website of Throne and Liberty in Korea, maintenance basically almost every day. Uh, popularity of the game is really high. Everybody wants to play Throne and Liberty in Korea, not only people, players from Korea, but also players from all around the world. Currently, there are 21 servers. They are all full. NCSoft have even increased capacity of the servers. Gameplay feels really enjoyable, but this evening I will not talk about different kind of in-game features regarding my review of the game. Check dedicated videos on my YouTube channel. I have already done yesterday my first impressions video. Check that video. And also I am preparing for next week full review of the game. However, for now, just to tell you, it feels absolutely amazing. I have no doubt for global release of this game will be very highly popular and played, not only because it's a free to play PC MMORPG, real MMORPG, no mobile devices. In the future, this game will be also released on PlayStation 5 and Xbox, not for now, that will happen in 2024, globally and in Korea. However, for today, for this evening, just to let you know, in Korea, game is finally released and it feels absolutely amazing. Regarding global version of the game, for this evening, nothing new. Nothing new from Amazon Games, publisher of this game for global version of the game. We were all kind of waiting for this. Game Awards 2023. I was expecting 100% we'll get some kind of news, maybe not release date, but maybe some kind of date for some kind of testing phase. However, that didn't happen. Nothing, absolutely nothing. On one way, actually, I am a little bit surprised. I have checked every available source of information from Amazon games, different kind of websites. There is nothing new even here on official website of Amazon game, uh, Amazon games. This is a little bit strange. I have to say, I was kind of expecting uh, because of marketing campaign, because of advertising here, this was perfect opportunity. Game Awards 2023 to do some kind of marketing. I don't know, to, uh, to put some kind of trailer up, something regarding global release of the game. However, that didn't happen. Don't worry, I got you covered. When I see any kind of news regarding global release of Throne and Liberty, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. And I'm preparing special video for next week regarding global release of the game. You will see what I mean. But uh, for this evening, just to let you know, there is nothing new. However, don't lose your hope. There is a reason to be hyped over there in Korea. Game feels absolutely amazing. And don't worry, I think very early 2024, we'll be able to play this game globally. We need to be a little bit more patient. Uh, we need to have at least two more testing phases, probably some kind of closed beta, then open beta. Nevertheless, it's fine. It's fine. We will soon get some news from Amazon games. Like I said, when I see any kind of news regarding Korean or global version of the game, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. Check already dedicated videos. I already have about 100 videos. I'm not joking. About 100 videos regarding Throne and Liberty on my YouTube channel. And I'm preparing another 100 videos for global release of the game. This game is really good. It, it's really good. I think it's worth to play it. And that's why also you'll see lots of content on my YouTube channel. Let's go forward with another title from NCSoft. Blade and Soul Neo Classic. Actually, I have already report in previous week MMORPG gaming news video. Uh, Blade and Soul Neo Classic is coming, but we didn't get too many information from NCSoft regarding this new upcoming title. I mean, is it really new upcoming title? Not really, because Blade and Soul is really old IP. This is amazing game. I remember when I have started to play this game a long time ago for release of Blade and Soul on PC. It was so good. Currently, sadly, in 2023 and on the start of 2024, Blade and Soul PC version of the game is not in good shape. 
it's not good situation regarding number of players and that's why we can see here we are getting a new version of the game blade and soul neo classic there is not much information currently about this title however today when i was preparing actually this video for you i have noticed this brand new trailer from ncsoft when they are actually showing a little bit of gameplay footage from blade and soul neo classic uh, you can see here different kind of classes and weapons in action this uh, will be unreal engine 4 game uh, new servers but anything else there is absolutely nothing new i'm checking all the available information from ncsoft regarding blade and soul neo classic and i will let you know about this game as soon as i know any kind of concrete information here on my youtube channel i'm interested into blade and soul because i used to play this game in the past a lot it's one really good game regarding everything in general i like this combat uh, graphic design in general in-game features this is one really good game so i guess on one way that ncsoft is trying uh, to do something similar to what they have done with ion ip if you're following my youtube channel then you know that currently we have ion classic up so is this another reboot of the game just improved with unreal engine 4 kind of graphics regarding storyline and everything else there is no information for now but this potentially could be something really interesting like i said when i see any kind of new information regarding blade and soul neo classic i will let you know about that here on my youtube channel in dedicated video for this evening just to let you know it's looking good it's coming what it is actually we don't know i don't know it's unreal engine 4 whatever it is, whatever it is let's go forward with what else do we have here so many news this week Let's go forward with Iron Classic European version of the game because just a few days ago we have get a new update 2.5. Check already some dedicated videos on my YouTube channel regarding update 2.5. I have done already a few videos and I will make some new videos in the future. Currently, I don't have time to play Iron Classic 2.5 because I'm playing Throne and Liberty in Korea. Don't worry. I didn't quit Ion, however, I need to focus now on Throne and Liberty. Because I really love Ion, it's an amazing game. There are currently some issues. I have seen already there are some issues uh, when, which have appeared after the release of new update 2.5. Just to show you for this evening, uh, if you want to return to Ion Classic European servers, that would maybe, it would be maybe a good moment now. A new update is up with lots of interesting new content. I have already done one video explaining all of the details regarding new content in short new abg gbg 55 eternal set i'll be said padmarashka is here new dungeon tempus sanctification system that's actually conditioning and many other interesting in-game features regarding everything else what is happening with iron classic in korea check already lots of videos regarding iron classic i have really covered a lot within the last two years you will find about 300 videos on my youtube channel regarding iron classic and of course like i said i didn't quit iron I will play it. I will play it in the future. There will be time for Iron Classic. It will not vanish anywhere. However, for now, full focus on Throne and Liberty. Let's go forward with Blue Protocol. Blue Protocol is a new upcoming PC MMORPG also available on PlayStation 5 and Xbox in the future. I will talk about that in a minute, which will be released globally in 2024. As you probably know, if you are following my YouTube channel, this game was released in Japan recently. Bandai Namco, they are developers from Japan. And I can show you here actually, I mean, regarding global version of the game, there is currently nothing new. We are waiting uh, for some kind of new testing phase from Amazon Games. Yes, they will also publish not only Throne and Liberty globally in 2024, but also this game here, Blue Protocol. Amazon games have lots of work ahead of them. I can show you, however, like I said, regarding global version of the game, there is nothing new. However, over there in Japan, interesting news. Interesting news. PlayStation 5 and Xbox version of the game will be released on December 13. Finally. I would say finally. So developers of the game didn't release until now basically playstation 5 and xbox version of the game they went only with pc version of the game and if you're interested into blue protocol check some reviews on my youtube channel i was lucky enough i can manage to play blue protocol over there in japan mm, you will see you can check review on my youtube channel i'm not that much excited about blue protocol it's a decent game but nothing else free to play anime pc mmorpg one day in the future globally also available on playstation 5 and xbox positive thing about this game it's not a mobile game absolutely negative thing about this game there is more than one there is no pvp in this game i don't like that i think that one real pc mmorpg needs to have both pvp and pve 
Both of the features available. Then you can pick whatever you want to play. You don't need to play PvP if you don't want. However, this game doesn't have it at all. I don't like that. Also, in generally, uh, when I'm looking overall quality of this game, combat, graphics, it's a decent game. Nothing else. Nothing special. So you will see some content on my YouTube channel regarding Blue Protocol in the future. I will cover the news. But for sure, I'm not excited regarding Blue Protocol as much I am excited regarding Throne and Liberty. On the other side, I have to say, you cannot compare. You cannot compare Throne and Liberty with Blue Protocol. But they are both MMORPGs. And if you like to play one real PC MMORPG, you will play Throne and Liberty. You will not play Blue Protocol for sure. I mean, you can only enjoy may maybe a little bit in graphic design but blue protocol yeah this is far from level of throne and liberty anyway you will see some reviews also in the future regarding blue protocol for this evening just to let you know playstation 5 and xbox version of the game is coming in japan on december 13th Let's go forward with Lost Ark. This evening I need to check what is happening with Lost Ark because I used to play this game a lot, even after Korean release and of course after global release. I can show you here December update announcement. It's coming. Let's check the date. December 13 and 20. Okay. One week apart, two major updates. Let's check this. December 13, Waldis Wonderland. What do we have here new? Waldis. Okay, new continent with entrance item level 1520 and above. This sounds good. Then we have additional content. Players can look forward to Guardian Raid. December 20, endgame update. Ivory Tower, Abyssal Dungeon, Elixirs, and that's it. There is nothing more. So, I mean, it's not a little thing to get a new continent, absolutely, in low start. There is no any kind of new class for now. However, we can get a recently new class, Soul Eater. Regarding numbers, actually, global version of the game is not looking that bad. 24 hour peak on Steam database, 70.2 thousand players is looking much better, for example, than New World. I'll talk about that a little bit later. It's not looking good at all, New World. However, a Lost Ark, I know what you will say. There are still some bots in the game, but regarding bots, it's looking much better than 850,000 players, which was like, what, one year ago? We can see here, where is it? It was even before that, right? And uh, regarding number of players, yeah, number of players did drop down, which is kind of normal. However, if you don't have anything else to play until we are waiting for global release of Throne and Liberty, maybe some other games, you can check on my YouTube channel. There are many new games which are coming later during 2024. Chrono Odyssey, something really extraordinary from NPXL. Bella Torres, Unreal Engine 5 game. There are many, many exciting games like Ion 2, Arcage 2 coming later in 2024. Until you are waiting for that, including Throne and Liberty, maybe to return to Lost Ark. I think that would maybe be also a good idea. I have enjoyed to play this game a lot. I don't have time currently to play any more Lost Ark, but I have to say I have really enjoyed in beautiful graphics and amazing combat. That would be highlights of this game. For well, this evening, just to let you know, December update is coming on two parts, December 13 and December 20, with the new continent, uh, Waldis. And regarding everything else, when I see something interesting is happening with Lost Ark, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. And of course, when I'm checking what is happening with Lost Ark, I also need to check what is happening with a new world. Publisher and developer Amazon Games, they are trying to do everything, everything they can to revive this MMORPG. And are they succeeding or not? Let me show you here. Steam database, 24 hour peak, 20.4 thousand players. Okay, so I will not say the game is dead because 20,000 players, right? It's not dead, but it's dead. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. So you can see here for a release of their first paid expansion, 77,000 players, 77.6 thousand players. That was nice peak. Everything was looking really good. Their first new paid expansion, I already talked about that in my previous videos, was looking really promising. You can see here even the reviews of the game. 69% of the reviews, almost 70% of the reviews are positive. That is a good thing. I think that Amazon Games, honestly here, uh, after release over there, right, that was two years ago, game was not good. However, Amazon Games, publisher and developer of this game, they can manage to improve this game really a lot. 
Within the last two years, they have worked hard. They have added lots of endgame content. They have fixed the bugs. They have improved game really a lot. When they would release this game in this, this update with this content back then, New World wouldn't be now on 20.4 thousand players. But I think it's too late. Competition is coming, huge competition during 2024. 2023 was not that much rich regarding PC MMORPG releases, new games. However, 2024 will be amazing here. There is between 10 or 15 new upcoming PC MMORPGs of AAA quality. So many titles are incoming, big games. Yes, most of them will fail. Most of them will fail. That's kind of normal. Competition is huge. Not every game will be good. But some of them will succeed. Throne and Liberty will succeed. Chrono Odyssey will succeed. Pax Day. Yes, possibly it will also succeed. There are many, many good games coming. So, New World... Can it survive in 2024? I doubt. I think during 2024, this number will go down by double. They will go down to 10,000 players. And even with this number, right? I know you will say it's not a dead game, but you know what I mean. In MMORPG gaming genre, for two years old MMORPG to have 24 hour peak 20,000 players, that means that game is dead. Because competition is coming. It's not like you don't have any new game incoming. There are many new games incoming in 2024 and even later after that, 2025, 2026. So now let's see what will happen with New World. Currently, it's not looking good. For sure, it's looking uh, much worse than Lost Ark. And on the end, I need to mention this evening one game which is not MMORPG. Absolutely, this is not MMORPG. I know, I can play the first Descendant. But I need to mention, because here on Steam, basically there is nothing changed. Next on developer and publisher. However, you can see here, uh, basically for Game Awards 2023, a little bit after that, we have seen this uh, big announcement that game will be released in summer of 2024. Why am I mentioning this evening this shooter kind of game? Because it's really good. I can play it purely for fun. I have a YouTube channel dedicated to new upcoming PC MMORPGs. Not to these type of games. I'm not playing usually shooters. I used to. I used to play these kind of games. However, for fun, I could try to play. It was some kind of event maybe two months ago. It lasted about one week uh, on Steam. I could try to play this new upcoming title. And you know what? It's really good. Open world. Very good combat. Beautiful graphics. Amazing game. I love the storyline. I love everything about this game. So for this evening, just to let you know, uh, First Descendant, if you like to play shooters, not MMORPG, absolutely. However, open world. Yes, open world, uh, beautiful graphics, beautiful character design. Maybe in the future I will make some video even regarding this game. It doesn't really fit my YouTube channel. It doesn't really fit my YouTube channel. This is not MMORPG, but I'm tempted. I'm really tempted and I'll try to play it after full release. So boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, there are many interesting things happening currently in MMORPG gaming world. However, this here doesn't have any competition. Throne and Liberty, it's so good. It's so good. I was expecting, like I said, I was expecting high quality game. I didn't have any doubt that developers of this game, NCSoft, they will give us high quality product. However, I'm still surprised and I'm really satisfied with their work. I have no doubt that after global release of this game, you will see 1 million or even more players playing this game here in the West. It's a really good game. Check reviews on my YouTube channel. Expect to see lots of content. And of course, when I see something interesting is happening with other new upcoming titles, it doesn't matter which game, Bella Torres, Pax Day, Chrono Odyssey, Ion 2, Arcade 2, Blue Protocol, many, many other games. You will see it instantly here on my YouTube channel. Currently, I'm playing this game here. Check my live streams on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of MMORPG content in the future. See you soon.